Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Ace Otero and today's pick a card reading is going to be looking at your person's first impression of you versus how they see you now. So this doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. So if you're asking about somebody who isn't a love interest, just kind of ignore the more romantic -y parts. But um, if you are asking about a love interest, then that's your person. So um, we have four piles today and I do want to mention that all of the tarot decks being used today are indie decks that are all available on Etsy so um, I will leave the names of them below if you're interested in checking those out but we have four piles today we have pile one with the way of the panda tarot and this lapidolite stone we have pile two with the eighth house tarot and this amazonite stone we have pile three with the whispering spirits tarot and this ruby Fooch site, I think, stone, and pile four with the apparition tarot and the labradorite stone. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to, to decide which pile or deck you feel most drawn to. Um, it's absolutely okay to be drawn to more than one. Just do what works for you. Um, if you're having trouble picking, my suggestion is to pick the one that's later on down the line, so, or like the later one, because if I notice one pile is similar to another, I'll usually say that, so that might be of more assistance to you, but at the end of the day, just do what you want. There's no right or wrongs here, but go ahead, pause the video if you need to, to decide which pile you feel most drawn to, and then you can scroll down to the description box to find your pile, and we will get into your reading. Hi there, pile one. If you guys chose the Lepidolite Stone and the Way of the Panda Tarot, this is going to be your reading. So we are going this, we're gonna use the Way of the Panda Tarot and these oracles to look at how your person views you now. But we're gonna start with their first impressions of you. So I already have your oracle shuffled, but we are going to be using the Synesthesia Tarot to get um, messages on your person's first impressions of you and I will be using this synesthesia deck for all the piles so don't worry I didn't just like ah this deck is hard to shuffle I didn't give you guys just like a random a random deck where I'm like sorry even though you picked this one you're getting this one everybody's getting this one and this is also an indie deck that is available on Etsy so if you are interested in it let that be known so today's spirit we are asking what was pile one's person's first impressions of pile one? How did they feel? Okay, so to start, we have the page of cups, the ten of cups, The King of Wands, Temperance, I'm actually I'm going to pull six cards for you guys because I feel called to for some reason, um, the Knight of Cups, and on the back of the deck we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so wow, this is interesting. Okay, so got these. Now let's look at your oracles. To start, we have Trickery in Reverse. Can't Be Caught, number 10. The Hummingbird. Death of the Deceitful, number 76. And Dissipating. So pile one, how, what was your person's first impression of you? Okay, well, first of all, if you can read tarot, um, you should probably notice by now, this person was like immediately in their feels when they saw you. Um, I don't know if this was like a love at first sight situation, but this is definitely what it's feeling like. Your person could have been flirty with you or could have, um, just felt like butterflies. That's the biggest thing I'm getting. The fact that we have the page in the night though, I definitely feel like your person, the first night they met you, definitely showed their interest towards you because they had really strong feelings for you like right away. It, there was a pull to them. With this 10 of cups, I like just get this idea like your person was 
so enamored by you and I think immediately they saw you as somebody very solid that they would want to build something with. With temperance here, I feel like this person um, was having a hard time getting to you, if that makes sense. With this hummingbird here and this can't be caught, I feel like you are in some type of public place. Um, or you were, or you were, you had, there was like a lot of attention on you. You could have been like dancing, you could have been out and about, or um, maybe for some of you, you are at work with this Three of Pentacles here. But the, this person noticed right away that you were very bright, you were very bubbly. It almost seemed like you were um, just really a happy person, like your life was already going really well. Maybe you were really flirty with them as well, and it was kind of mutual. This person definitely felt like this was divinely guided in some way or like they were meant to see you because with this temperance card here, I often think about our angels and, and whatnot. And I think that this person was trying to be patient and not be too um, pushy with you or like uh, assert themselves, which is hard because I feel like they're more represented by this King of Wands. Um, you could be as well. But I think that this person, like the energy of the person that I'm getting is like wants to take charge and like knows what they want. I feel like this person felt confident but not confident approaching you at this like it's kind of it's an interesting contradiction. Um, but I feel like this person was immediately attracted to you um, in terms of like a physical way. They, it was like almost like a moth to a flame. You could be like small in stature and that could be something that attracted them as well. But I think they noticed that you were, you didn't seem like a deceitful or dishonest person. They really admired just the way that you were unapologetically yourself. You just looked like you were in your element and having a good time and just being you. And you just seemed like too good for everybody there um, for some reason. And I think that that's this person's impression or maybe you just were, but I think that this person also noticed, I think either when once they started talking to you or just by observing you, that you really didn't, you don't really realize um, your value or how great you really are. That's like the energy that I'm getting immediately, especially with um, this dissipating card. I think that this person could tell that while you feel like you, you're cool with like expressing yourself and being yourself but i don't think you realize like how m many other people around you think that's really badass like i think that you're somebody who's pretty humble and just oh you know like i'm just vibing i'm pile one like i'm here existing and this person was just immediately like oh my gosh like i want to marry this human i am so into them they like this person also like just high key they wanted to um go to pound town <laughs> that's being stressed to me a lot with this king of wands i feel like this person was immediately into you and i think because you're in your element you're in your environment i just feel like this was a light-hearted environment where you could just be like really let loose and and be free and like have fun maybe you had a lot of friends around you or something but you felt like comfortable and this person I, I feel like they observed you from afar, but also I, I feel like it's likely they talked to you and expressed interest almost immediately because of all of this cups energy. We have Sagittarius energy here um, with Temperance and with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So you or your person could have those. Um, air placements with the Hummingbird, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and a lot of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces little bit of pentacles energy but the biggest thing is the wall like water and fire like this this person was in their feels like immediately so i'm i'm sure that this was probably a magnetic connection like right from the get-go and this person like really they just thought you were so positive and and bright and like bursting with light and they could just tell that you were you weren't trying to be anything you were just being your authentic self and and just vibing honestly i hate to use that term but that, that's really like what you were doing you were just vibing and and being yourself and i think this person loved that and they just loved your spirit i feel like they could see your spirit and 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 how um beautiful it was when it was just like 
existing. I don't know. This is an interesting energy, but I, I like, I'm grinning from ear to ear right now, which I know you guys can't tell, but like, they just, they were just like, oh my gosh, like, wow, like pile one, like they're, they're so beautiful, handsome. They like, they, they, they definitely, they, they saw a lot in you and they thought that you were really cool and they were very interested in you and they definitely felt like you, you were almost like out of their grasp like with this can't be caught like maybe you guys were in like different friend groups and maybe your friend group would leave and then this person would miss you for like an hour and then you'd go to another place and then they would also be there and like it's almost like this person was kind of chasing you all night or felt like they couldn't really get your attention but they were they were like i i want more here <laughs> there's definitely more here this person was like i want to build something solid and substantial here because they immediately like they had butterflies they were like i can see a future with this person um yeah really beautiful energy so let's go ahead and see my little hummingbirds what this person how this person sees you now so now we will use the way of the panda tarot I absolutely adore this deck so I'm sure you guys are very adorable <laughs> um I yeah this this is actually like one of my favorite decks so if like I, if you're ever gonna buy one off of Etsy like this one just makes me happy so I if you're ever looking in in the market for a tarot deck that's just straight up makes you happy I would recommend this one because it it makes me really happy um okay so Spirit, how does Pile One's person view Pile One now? What has changed since the first impression? How do they see Pile One? Okay. We have the Six of Swords. The Hanged Panda. Pisces energy there the world, the lovers, king of swords, and on the back of the deck, the knight of cups. Okay. You guys are probably going to be the only deck, by the way, that gets six cards for each. I just felt called to, to pull six for some reason. So you're welcome. <laughs> um, Gemini energy with the lovers for sure. Um, the world has all the fixed signs, so Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus. But let's look at your oracles now. We have Recovery, Suppression of a Star Being by Hands Unworthy, number one. We have the Lamb, which is Earth Energy. We have everything you need to soon, number three, and we have abundance. So this is actually really interesting. Um, I'm sure that this connection with this person for all of you has been somewhat substantial. And the way that they see you now, for some of you, I'm curious if you and this person broke up. Like I'm getting two scenarios here. Like for some of you, this connection like didn't work out and you and this person broke up but for others I feel like you're with this person now so it might be different scenarios here but with this six of swords um and maybe it's not even that you broke up maybe you guys went through like a rough patch or um struggled I guess there could be different scenarios but with this six of swords here maybe you moved with this person or you're like transitioning into a different stage of your relationship with this person whatever it may be i feel like this person has a lot less anxiety when it comes to your connection um i think that you both have either overcome a lot together or if you're together now you it took a lot for you to overcome the challenges to be together or they are at peace with moving forward if this connection ended. But with the Hanged Panda, you've changed their perspective for sure. 
Um, anyone who watches me regularly, I can't believe I'm saying this. This hanged panda, like, it just reminds me of eating ass. And I know <laughs> that's, like, not, like, what you want to hear about. But this person, like, I, I don't... I, we don't kink shame on this channel, first of all. Second, um, you know, this person might just, like, really like your ass or know that they have to kiss your ass. <laughs> um in order to be in your good graces again if this person did something wrong um if not this could literally just be about how you really have changed this person's perspective with how they see things and i think that this person if you moved like this person wants to move to be with you or the, i feel like this is almost saying that they would travel anywhere to be with you um I also think for a lot of you, they're happy that some phase in your relationship is over. Like maybe you guys were going through a really big rough patch or maybe you guys were really struggling um, or maybe things ended here if this is somebody you broke up with. But the biggest thing that I'm getting, no matter who it is and no matter what your situation is, the feelings that they had for you the night that they met you have not gone anywhere like at all they still have these romantic feelings and i'm called to notice this butterfly here and i feel like their feelings have just transformed and gotten stronger um with this king of swords here i do feel like you have tested and challenged this person in a lot of ways that they um weren't really expecting and i think one thing is that like I'm hearing is like this person would go to battle for you or like defend you in front of anyone. Um, with this quill here, I almost wonder if they've written you like letters or they like writing you letters um, or something like that. But with this lovers here, um, if you both chose to go your separate ways, I feel like your person is at peace with that, like respecting that decision. But if you guys are together, this person definitely um, sees you as their person like they see you as their counterpart and honestly even if you guys did break up this person might still see you as your counterpart i think it's maybe not even just being at peace but it's like acceptance the biggest energy that i'm getting though no matter what your situation is is that i'm really feeling like you the viewer pile one have overcome a lot and with this lamb card i think that you showed a side of yourself that you don't show everyone and it's this really gentle patient and kind I wanted to say persona but that's not even true like it's 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 the core of yourself like the the part of yourself that you protect because you don't want to just give that to anybody um this person like they just see you as so sweet and so gentle and like with this king of swords that's why i feel like i get that protective energy like they just know how sweet your heart is and they know that your heart is in the right place they know that you're not going to do anything um with malicious intent and they genuinely want the best for you which i mean if you're together like obviously but if you're not they they think that you deserve the best i think one thing that makes them angry not at you um but just angry is that it has taken a lot for you to overcome many challenges in your life and with this suppression of a star being by hands on worthy i definitely feel like you weren't treated the way you deserve to be treated uh growing up and you're kind of in this healing phase right now, which I, I honestly, I think these cards, that your oracle cards especially, are not just from your person, but also from spirit, because I do feel like you guys, pile one, are coming into some sort of a abundance, and I feel like you're struggling with it because you're not really sure if you're deserving of it, and I just want to say right now that you are, and you are worthy of whatever abundance is coming in. So whether it's an abundance of love from this person, maybe you're having a hard time accepting all that love or accepting that you're worthy of it. Uh, maybe if you are making more money or you have an abundance of creative passion, this abundance can be related to anything, but... Uh, I think that it might be overwhelming for you and you might be having a hard time accepting it because you feel like you're not deserving of it. And I just want you guys to know, Pile One, that the way that people treated you, like if you've ever felt like this, first of all, I'm so sorry. But second of all, this is suppression of a star being by hands unworthy. The people that treated you poorly, the people that were mean to you, um, the people that, that shot on you, <laughs> for lack of a better term, um, first of all, F them, like, 
I'll fight them if you want. Um, but uh, like, it was out of jealousy. It was out of spite and things that weren't your fault. And I think one of the beautiful things about you, Pile One, is just how unique you are and how much love you have to give others and to, um, you've come a long way with your self-love journey, but you, you still have struggle to see that you're actually worthy of the gifts that spirit wants to bless you with. And I feel like maybe your person struggles sometimes because they, you might have bouts where you like go cold on them and they might struggle with that um, because they do have romantic feelings for you. And I'm not saying that it, it might not be warranted. Everybody's situation is different. So it's a general reading, take how the resonates. But um, this person might like wish that you were more okay with being vulnerable all the time. That might not resonate for all of you, but I do think, you know, maybe sometimes you get really withdrawn and you kind of struggle because you get stuck in your head and your anxiety might get to you or like just your negative thought patterns might get to you and and really just disillusion you from the truth of like your greatness because this person does see you as really great. Like they see you as their world, like their partner. They are happy with like the forward movement with you. I feel like for a lot of you, if you're not with this person, um, they still see you as somebody that like, I'm literally hearing conquer the world. So like, I don't know if you're like dating Napoleon or Alexander the Great, which Napoleon big failed, but like, like don't conquer Russia in winter, but advice for you guys, don't conquer Russia in winter. So, you know, keep your invasion plans in spring. So, or summer. <laughs> anyway, your person is really proud of the recovery, the progress that you've made of recovering from things of your past. And I honestly think that one thing that Spirit wants me to be, wants you to be aware of is that your psychic abilities are getting stronger. And I think that, that um, part of this abundance is relating to an abundance of messages. And Spirit's asking you to trust the messages that you're receiving. But anyway, this person is definitely, the way they see you now, like you're a substantial person in their life, whether you're whether you're currently in their life or you are not anymore. Um, you've changed their perspective on the world and you might have turned their world upside down, but like in a good way, like where they um, just didn't see how beautiful the world could be until they saw it through your eyes. And I just think that's awesome. And honestly, with this Knight of Cups, Maybe um, this person wants to take this relationship to like the next level, um, whatever that may be. If not, I think that this person just like, they choose you, like you're Pikachu, like I choose you. <laughs> is is that what they do in Pokemon? I don't know. Um, I haven't seen Pokemon in a while, but with this world card here, I really do just feel like maybe if you guys are long distance, that six of swords could just be like your person really wants to come see you or they're thinking about the next time that they can. Um, you are their world and I feel like they would cross any corner, swim any sea to see you because you really are beautiful. And um, I think you might have a hard time even accepting their affection and they wish that they could like get you to see how awesome you are so that it was less, it would be less like uncomfortable for you, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, I think I think that's all I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and get into channeled messages. I want to see what this person would say to you. Uh, overall, though, like no matter what your situation is with this person, I do just want to say like they have the utmost respect for you. They think that nobody is good enough for you. They think that you are so amazing. And with the lovers here, like that Gemini energy, I feel like they love how the rapport you guys have together. And maybe like there's a lot of chemistry in your conversations. But let's see, Spirit, what would Pile One's person say to Pile One if they could? Okay, interesting. So... We have, have you moved on? 
I am so proud of you and I recognize this connection from a past life. Please don't forget about me and I'm not ready for this connection. And I'm afraid of losing myself. So I guess for some of you, like this probably is something that ended and it's probably because this person um, clearly didn't was afraid of a good thing when they saw it which on the back of the deck we have your intelligence intimidates me and I'm picking this one up so ah okay um I didn't mean to do that your presence still haunts me your intelligence intimidates me and this one came out too I can't be the person you need me to be right now how can I ever repay you? I haven't healed and I'm in survival mode right now. Okay, so I think these channeled messages are directly related for those of you who are not with this person. Um, ah, oh my gosh, why can't I? Okay, well, clearly this person has a lot to say to you since apparently I can't pick up cards. But um, yeah, they adore you. And they think that you, like, if, if this is uh, something where you broke up with this person, they, like, their feelings have not gone anywhere. They adore you, like I said. Um, they miss you. And they might even honestly feel like they're not worthy of you. And maybe there's everything you need to soon. Oh my god, okay, maybe that is also related to the fact that maybe you guys had this shot and, like, maybe this person rejected it and then they realized, like, you were perfect for them but it was too soon or something like that. Um, because for a lot of you, I, I feel like you are with this person. But if you're not with this person, um, I think the channeled messages are, are directly for you because... I guess to be fair, like in, in the messages, I, I, I was picking up more on, ah, fuck. I just knocked over the channeled messages again. Okay, clearly Spirit wants me to shuffle more if they're being that, like if the cards are being that insane. So, all right, pile one's person, tell, give me the things that you want to say to them and chill because this is enough okay so on the back of the deck we have my heart skips a beat when I see you and I think that's true especially with that knight of cups being there twice can we start over I'm trusting divine timing I'm tired of arguing and I bury myself in my work so I feel like this person just has a lot they want to say to you and maybe they miss communicating with you if you're in a relationship with this person and it's going through a rough patch, they definitely want to get out of that. But um, yeah, take the channeled messages as they resonate because I don't feel like the channeled messages are for all of you. Um, but I don't know. Clearly, clearly your person had a lot they wanted to say. So let's get you, some, you guys some advice now and see what spirit wants you to know. Oh, crap my angel number cards as well here so we're going to start with the affirmators deck spirit what advice do you have for pile one when it comes to their connection with this person what do you want pile one to know okay so you guys got two we have grace and celebration. I face disagreements with grace and flow through the ups and downs of my relationships without getting thrown off center. With grace, I'm able to keep my cool, be my best self, and not resort to name calling, even when that crappy poo poo face is being a douchey barf monster. <laughs> And we also have celebration. When I come across people in happy, healthy relationships, I give jealousy the finger and celebrate their joy. When I do so, I'm rooting for the good guys, which means that I'm a good guy. And that means all of us win. Who wants to celebrate? And Spirit, can you give Pile One some more advice about this connection or just advice in general that they might need to hear? Okay. You guys got four, so clearly spirit has thoughts for you guys. Um, so to start, we have a new start is coming, new moon. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. And the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. So seems like there are some interesting things going on. 
for you guys when it comes to this connection you know maybe things are coming full circle maybe things with this connection are having a new start maybe if you're in a relationship with this person um things are gonna be coming up pile one in their person very soon um you might be getting over a rough patch or something like that because no matter what the case is i feel like this person hasn't moved on okay and you guys just got two which i'm gonna take all of them so we have angel number 777 your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose a state of peace and calmness in your soul i am the flow we also have 26. You have the desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. I am tactful and on the back of the deck we have 000. You are the one with the you are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. I am a creator. So overall, I, it definitely like this connection is definitely substantial and I think that if you know you're not talking to this person right now or you're waiting for things to get better. I think this is a sign that they are getting better. If you're already in a relationship with this person, I definitely think that um, things with this connection are going to be getting better. They want things to get better. Um, but at the end of the day, no matter what your situation is with this person, they adore you. Remember, if you don't want this person in your life, you have free will. Um, you never have to accept anybody that uh, that you don't want to be there. Um, but yeah, I think this is where I'm going to leave this reading pile one. Sorry it was a bit discombobulated. I think that's kind of how this person feels when it comes to you, but that might just be a convenient excuse for my own discombobulation. <laughs> but um, definitely, if you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates and leave me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Turn on the notification bell as well. I am uploading a video soon um, for beginners learning how to read tarot. It should be up by next week, so if you are interested in that definitely be on the lookout for that um thank you so much for letting me read your cards i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this and i hope you'll come back and see me again soon bye hi there pile two if you guys chose this amazonite stone and the eighth house tarot this is going to be your reading but to start i am going to use the synesthesia tarot deck um, and these oracle cards to look at your person's first impressions. I'm just gonna scooch all of this. Ah! Oh, I just dropped something. Oh, so on brand. Okay, <laughs> let's get into it, you guys. I hope you all are having a wonderful day or night. I hope your 20, 2021 is going well. We are gonna see today what your person Ugh, I hate it when I, I, I always just hope that like my shuffles aren't going to be shitty if I, if I just don't focus on them not being shitty, but they're shitty anyway. <laughs> so maybe if I did focus more, but my attention deficit ass would never. Anyway, um, moral of the story, shuffling is hard and I'm not very good at it. <laughs> But I still try my best, and that's what's important. Anyway, let's see now, Spirit. What was Pile 2's person's first impressions of Pile 2? Okay. We have the Five of Swords. The Four of Wands. Justice, the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, which I actually didn't mean to take six cards, but I guess I am taking six cards. And on the back of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Okay. This is interesting energy. So for your oracles, we have forgiveness, 
your light, the sea serpent, healing through rest, and workaholic. So with the sea serpent card, your person 100% thought you were the Loch Ness Monster and they wanted to lock those digits. Okay, now that I have that bad joke out of the way, let's actually start. <laughs> so... I actually am going to start with the sea serpent though. This is a spirit card and it represents the sacral chakra. So I think that when your person first met you, there was immediately a lot of desire for you. They were like drawn to you like magnetically. And I think that it was pretty apparent to them that you were very like... They found it very attractive how you expressed yourself and I think there was definitely an immediate physical attraction because they were like, they they had a lot of desire for you. Like they wanted to, like I said, lock, lock, in, lock those digits, I guess. I don't know why I keep saying that. I've never said that in my life. Okay, anyway, this light. I wonder if you met this person in winter. You don't have to, but I think no matter what, this person was going was in a really dark place when they met you and actually these cards are kind of reflecting that it, and it, what's interesting is that the energy that I'm getting of how this person like their first impressions of you they're mixed in with all of the anxiety and emotional confusion that this person was going through at the time because obviously if this person first met you they have no reason to apologize so like this forgiveness isn't like they think you're a forgiving person i think that they could just tell that you were really gentle and very compassionate with forgiveness being a third eye chakra card i wonder if this person kind of intuitively knew that you were really nurturing or knew that you could tell that they weren't doing the best if anything this person really like loved your hug they just wanted to be close to you i think if i mean even if this was like online or something they could tell that you were just very compassionate maybe you love animals but i think this person really just like wanted to hold you <laughs> at like almost immediately when they saw you and i think partially it was because they were going through a lot and they just wanted to feel warmth and because of your light and just who you are and the way you were expressing yourself they just felt like you would be a very comforting and nurturing presence for them and with this healing through rest i feel like this person i feel like you met this person not during like work hours i feel like you met this person um when you were out and about or um like i said online or something like that you were relaxed and they could tell that like you weren't you weren't on but they one thing that they could also tell about you is that you are somebody incredibly driven you guys might have talked about um school or work or talked about your passions i feel like this person could tell that you were a hard worker and that you were somebody driven and somebody ambitious and i think that was very appealing to them i also think that this person it it, it maybe might have made this person feel a little bit intimidated because I think the person that you're inquiring about um, is ambitious as well, but I think that you kind of were at their level or like above their level and it was kind of intimidating. But I think this person could tell that intuitively that you had been through a lot too, but you were in a good place, or at least that was their perception that you were in a good place. And I feel like they had this thing like, they wanted to know your secrets. like. Not like your your dirty secrets, but like just how how did this person you how how did they get to the point where they are like how are they they this calm and so the the energy that I'm getting of when they first met you first of all you could be a Libra rising or just have Libra placements. This person really enjoyed communicating with you and they felt like you were really easy to talk to. And I think they thought that you had a really good um, judge of character and you were just really fair and really balanced. And I think that they felt like the rapport between the both of you was balanced or like they felt like they were talking to an equal. And 
with the four of wands the four of wands can often talk about like celebrations and stuff like that so maybe you were like at a party um maybe like a birthday party or a gathering of some kind i'm hearing super bowl um when they met you they were confused though because with the five of swords here and with the eight of cups this person when they first met you had been going through a lot with another romantic interest and i don't know if it ended or they were like off um whatever it was this person was overcoming a lot and it honestly it could be like maybe they weren't even talking to this ex or whatever anymore but they they were definitely trying to forge their own path and rediscover who they were and they, they were kind of like magnetically drawn to you because I think you guys were actually going through similar experiences at the time but this person felt like you just had things figured out that they didn't and they like wanted to understand what was going on in your head they thought that you were really dreamy and almost like too good to be true and with this two of wands here I feel like they they were really happy that they met you but they weren't sure like what was going to happen here wh where this was going to go like they were definitely in like um uh, kind of selfish energy if i'm going to be honest like with this five of swords here i feel like they were definitely only thinking about their their best interest and with this eight of cups i do think at the time they were moving on from something so you were like this exciting present presence in their life but they were they weren't really sure how involved they were going to be in your life because one they wanted to do right by you and they knew that you deserved that just by meeting you like you're just a very fair and a, like approachable person and um somebody just seemed very nurturing and definitely had a lot of feminine energy like that doesn't mean that you have to be a woman but like you can be anything and have a lot of feminine energy so they they saw you as somebody with a lot of feminine energy and i think it made them confused because i do think that they were drawn to you and they could see something more with you but because of the stuff that had happened in their past they were like not really ready to open up and they weren't really sure what they were going to do about it like with this two of wands they were they were like i could explore this more or i could just dip and never talk to this person again because i'm afraid of opening up to somebody so that's kind of interesting this is an interesting energy but no matter what this person thought of you very highly um, you have a very magnetic and charming personality and even if you don't think that they definitely perceived you that way and I think that they could tell like you first of all are not stupid like you I don't know you're smart and like very interesting and this person like just was honestly I think fearful because like from their past experiences and there was a lot running through their head honestly and it's kind of hard to process all of it because partially I think you guys could have been drinking or there could have been some substances so this person wasn't in their right mind anyway which like with the seven of cups I could just see like clouded clouded energy clouded judgment because of that but also like you complicated things or like like your existence they were like oh no like i could see something with this person or oh no this person is really awesome meaning you um they just felt uncertainty after they met you and they weren't really sure what was going on um but they definitely knew that you were like a catch somebody really awesome and somebody that they um admired and had a lot of desire for like they they wanted to go to the to the bone zone like really fast. I hate that I said that, but I also kind of love that I said that. So I'm not taking it back. Okay, let's look at how they see you now because this is really interesting. So move your oracles to the side. This is the eighth house tarot, if you were wondering. Um, and the eighth house is all about endings and beginnings so i wonder if this connection is in separation or um there was an ending here or maybe possibly a new beginning now well i guess we'll see but you know this is scorpio energy i guess that one was a little better these ones are hard to shuffle 
Um, Scorpio energy is represented by the eighth house. So I definitely feel like whatever this was, it was probably really intense. But let's see. So spirit, what was, what is pile two's current impression of pile two? How do they see pile two now? This current moment. This is timeless, by the way. So whenever you see this is whenever you are meant to see it. Okay, we have the King of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Wands again, the Six of Swords, the Queen of Swords. I don't know why I'm getting this many cards, um, but I guess Spirit wanted me to take all of them. And on the back of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay. The energy here is a little sad. Like, I'm not going to lie. But let's look at what's in your oracles. We have Discovery. Fear that the light will bring judgment. We have the deer. The gallery of those who came before. And joy. I'm not like, okay. So when I started pulling these cards, I felt like my stomach drop in a way. And it made me really sad. So I feel like... You're probably not talking to this person. Um, and if you are, it's probably, I don't know. I don't think that you're with this person right now. And I think that they could have been the one to end things here, which I think was just honestly very obvious um, by how they... How they were acting in the first pile. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, let's start with your oracles and then go from here. Here's what I think is interesting is that in your first impression, there was your light. And with this card, fear, there's fear that the light will bring judgment. And so I think that the more this person got to know you, the more triggering it was for them. Because I do think that your person maybe had some skeletons in their closet or just things that they were struggling with. And I think that you were they were afraid of you seeing the real them. And they still have that fear. With this deer energy, I think that one thing's for sure is that this person still sees you as somebody compassionate, kind, um, an excellent parent if you already are a parent or they could just want to um, make babies with you, um, but they might not be a traditional type of person with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, With this deer card though, they, there's something ethereal about you. Like they don't, they, they're afraid of like saying the wrong thing because they don't want to spook you. But they know how sweet and nurturing you are still. And they still see you that way. Maybe more matured. Um, with this discovery card though, this person has learned so much about themselves through you and they're a lot happier which honestly i don't even think they're very happy i think this joy card is that they hope that you're happy and they and they they you seem happy if they see you on social media or anything like that and they also can see i feel like some time has passed for sure um i'm like hearing specifically like at least three months but that doesn't have to be um with this discovery card though, it seems like you have also kind of had a glow up, like you're 
you're kind of coming into your own and, and your light's just getting bigger. And this person like kind of sees that you look really stable and like they're very um, int just intrigued by you and intrigued by your energy. Their feelings are really deep and they haven't gone anywhere and it's likely they haven't expressed them. And with this Knight of Wands here, um, I do still feel like they have a lot of passion for you. With Mercury and Virgo in reverse or Ten of, of Pentacles in reverse, I do feel like this person's financial situation is something that they worry about. But I also, for some reason, I'm getting this energy like there might be I'm hearing like negative family influence on, on their own healing, but I feel like it's not directed at you literally. I feel like they, they would want something very, um, they will like, I feel like they had the opportunity to build a legacy with you and they denied it. And I think they think about that all the time. And honestly, I feel like they view you as a queen of sorts. Not that, like, you're cold or anything. Um, but the, the energy is that I'm getting is that I think that you emotionally distanced yourself from this person. And I think that they know that. They, I think they know that, that you walked away from them because of whatever they did or um, because you knew you deserved better and you had to emotionally distance yourself. Like, you could have even moved away from the place where you both lived together um, and I think this person is aware, like, that you just wanted to move forward. This person wishes they can know what's going on in your head. And I almost feel like you could outsmart them at every turn. This is something I just heard. But, like, I think that you are kind of cold with this person if you do still talk to them. And for good reason. Um, I feel like this person was not, um... I feel like they just weren't upfront with how much they were struggling when they first met you and that created issues. And I think this person knows that there are, are things within them that are toxic. Um, for some of you, I wonder if this person is literally just non-committal and they might know that um, you deserve more, you deserve better. But with the four of wands here, the fact that we have it both times, I think that this person still feels a lot of passion for you. I mean, they do. Like, they, they have deep and passionate feelings for you. But I feel like for a lot of you, they still see a future. And they almost hope that maybe someday things will come back around. And, like, you can move forward and, and move to clear waters. They feel like you are doing really well. Um, there's this interesting energy that's, like, juxtaposed with the first pile where I felt like like you just feel at a distance from this person, whatever way it may be, but this person checks up on you, whether you know it or not. If you have mutual friends, they might check your social media, something like that. But the way that they see you now, they also see you as somebody who is going after their dreams and, and kind of just living their best life and being very passionate. I feel like you, the viewer, are kind of embracing your more masculine energy. What, no matter what gender you are, it's just like you're taking charge of your own life. You're discovering who you are and, and you're just trying to be happy and live your best life. Um, I think this person thinks that you're really happy, which could explain maybe hesitation with them coming forward because they don't feel like they're good enough for you and they almost just see like they see you as somebody who has their life so much figure more figured out than they do um they feel alone with like with this ten of pentacles i mean this isn't a traditional interpretation of the ten of pentacles but i feel like they just feel sad because i think you understood them in a way that not many people did and they just feel like they, they pushed away somebody who was part of their family. Like, this could be, like, soul family stuff. Like, there could be, like, a, a you know, a soul connection here. Um, Venice and gondolas might be significant for some reason, or, like, Italy or something. Um, but I think that this person has been dealing with a lot of, like, karmic stuff since 
you since whatever went down here went down because like the biggest energy that i'm feeling is that something went down here and this person is learning more about themselves and they are trying to you've taught this person a lot whether you realize it or not and it's kind of like they just love you from afar and adore you from afar You are so talented too. They see you as somebody very talented. Like if you share your art or like you've been putting yourself out there more, I think they're really impressed by you and how much you've grown. Like you're forging your own path right now and they're really impressed by that. And I think that in, in this time that you guys haven't seen one another, this person only gets sporadic bits of what's going on with you, but they like, they're trying to put the pieces together. And I almost wonder if some of these cards are representative of like, their perception rather than the reality like just the things that they're kind of piecing together but no matter what the case is I think that this person wants a, like smooth sailing for this connection whether whether it's over and you guys are done with it and they like they just want to be in calmer waters or they want to like move this connection to something like that but I feel like they know that they would have to be the one to make make a move and I think they're really afraid to and really scared to because they think that you have walked away and you very well could have and and it's up to you whether you let someone back in your life or not and I think that they're worried of, of I just heard like feeling your wrath which like is interesting because you are also represented by this compassionate deer but I think that they know that you are not to be trifled with and that if they did something messed up or like did something that was not cool they know that you are not afraid like to stand up for yourself and be like look like what you did was fucked up like I, I can't even censor myself sorry if that was you didn't want to hear that but like I think that this person really did mess up in a big way and I feel like they they're aware of that and they wish they could have stability they see you as someone very stable very grounded um you could have earth placements air placements fire we got all of the signs here honestly but your light just keeps growing pile too and you guys are honestly really really cool so no matter what happens with you and this person or what has happened snow like they feel like they will never be more than you but I don't know you're really awesome I guess that's all I can say this person is really like their energy is kind of weird to tap into because I feel like there's just a large array of of energies here and it's kind of a bit different and, and I'm having trouble kind of figuring out like what perspective this person is trying to come from because they have a lot of um, paradoxical opinions of you. Like, like they see you as somebody that could bitch them out, but also like you're so sweet and compassionate and nurturing. And so maybe they, they're like, oh, I'm not going to get that nurturing side of them because I've messed up. And like, I want to start with channel messages, but I feel like there's something I haven't pulled out yet that I like am grasping at straws with. I feel like they, they still see a future with you or they hope for that, but they feel like they probably don't have a chance. Like you've probably walked away at this point and like, it's like checkmate, like game over, like they're done, like they've lost. But I feel like their passion and their feelings haven't gone anywhere, but they're just too afraid to let themselves put themselves out there or maybe you guys are at a distance so they feel like there's no reason for them to anyway um maybe they might worry as well that like your family or your friends won't like them or don't like them and they know that but let's go ahead and look at channel messages from this person and see what they might say to you so spirit what would pile two's person say to pile two if they could be completely honest okay so coming out first, I just want to have fun with you again. Yeah, I feel like with, with this year light card, I feel like you are the type of person, you know how to be lighthearted. And like I said, they've always viewed you as a light. And like, bro, you literally upgraded from a candle to a lantern. Like, look at that. Like your light just keeps growing. And I think that they really regret whatever they've done. Cause like, man, like pile two, please don't waste your energy worrying about me. And I am so sorry. Yeah, I don't feel like they messed up in some way. We also have I love our friendship. 
and I wish I could hold you right now. It really makes me think of that forgiveness card from earlier. Like maybe you're a really good cuddler. You guys like cuddle a lot and they really enjoyed that. There is a sweet energy here. And we also have, you still have a place in my heart and I wholeheartedly believe that, but I de definitely think that they feel like you, they don't have a place in yours, which they might not and they might be right or maybe they do and they just feel like that will never happen. We also have your absolutely adorable, which doesn't shock me since you're being represented by this deer, which I mean, of course you were a sea serpent first, but like, I don't know, sea serpents can be cute. No one's seen Nessie up close. We also have, I will always love you. And deep down, I still feel you. And yeah, I think that this, this is pretty evident. Um, this person, like, whatever happened and transpired, transpired between you guys, like, they hate themselves for it. They wish they could take it back more than anything. And they... I keep hearing know that they're not good enough for you. And whether that's true or not, that's their opinion. Um, oh, and on the back of the deck, I have too much on my plate right now and I stalk your social media. So yeah, that could be, you know, with that 10 of pentacles in reverse, you know, maybe there's family issues going on in their life that are preventing them from moving forward with anything. Maybe they're just working on their abundance and on their bag. But we are going to get advice for you guys now for this connection. So, Spirit, can you please give me advice for Pile 2 when it comes to this connection? What advice do you have for Pile 2, please? Okay. So this is the back of the deck. So we have Cleansing and Don't Take It Personally, which actually, this card is not in this deck but i like it so um and i think and i think it speaks for this as for this situation as well don't take it personally if someone starts to speak unkindly to me i'll remember that they've got something going on that has nothing to do with me like maybe they just pooped their pants yes that is probably it and yeah i think that this person like the way that they acted towards you probably wasn't right and was probably messed up but i think that it, it came more from this person um having being wounded and like having issues and kind of projecting them on you and I feel like they made assumptions that you that you would like betray them or that things would go to shit and so it's like they almost sabotage something but we also have cleansing feeling bogged down by the weight of a thousand thoughts feelings boxes of mystery objects lurking in your closets consider this a prescription to clean house mentally physically literally figuratively and anything else that applies adverbally it's hard to make room for new connections and experiences when every bit of your emotional space is cluttered with psychic bric-a-brac. So enjoy a major guilt-free flush out. And not to worry, you can always find new psychic bric-a-brac in the metaphorical clutter section of Craigslist. So yeah, I definitely think energy cleansing could be helpful for you guys with whatever it is that you're doing. You One thing's for sure, like aside from this like, reading, you guys are really talented and Spirit wants you guys to know that... Um, your goals matter and like you will achieve your goals. I think that you made this person more ambitious and made them want to achieve their goals and made them more focused on achieving them. So you should honestly be really proud of the person that you are because I think that you never sacrificed your integrity within this connection. I think you've always taken the high road and that's something that this person can't say. So um, I definitely think you've been the bigger person and you are the more mature energy here. So... Let's see, Spirit, what other advice do you have for Pyle 2 when it comes to this connection? Okay. So look at that. On the back of the deck, we have your hard work is paying off, New Moon and Capricorn. And we have communication is key, New Moon and Gemini. So I think honest communication with yourself um, and honest communication with this person, if it comes in with that Queen of Swords energy, um, you know, don't be afraid to be vulnerable, but be clear and, and be honest. But I want to know what angel numbers are relevant for you guys. Um, I also think communication, I feel like your guides want you to communicate more with them just in terms of like saying what it is that you truly want and like what you're trying to do and, and asking for assistance. They want to help you, but they can't help you if, um, you're not open to it. So starting off, we have the number four. 
and it says you bring stability and rationality to any situation which makes sense we have the four of wands both times and you are like you with that justice to like stable rational pile two <laughs> like easy breezy beautiful cover girl stable rational talented pile four pile two oh, okay <laughs> all right I'll, I'll stop you bring stability and rationality to any situation you are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend partner and colleague i am stable we also have number 19 independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you you are extremely capable in life and work and aren't afraid to take big risks and to achieve the life you desire i am a pioneer and on the back of the deck we have 11 11 the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are. I am awakening. Okay, well, that's dope. Um, yeah, you guys are really awesome. And I, I feel like I can't say that enough. And the goals that you're going after, you are going to achieve. And I feel really called to say, no matter what this person thinks of you, um, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because when i say that you guys are baller status like <laughs> baller status like so cool and um no matter what happens here i just hope you know that like the treatment that you received has no bearing on your worth and you have the power to allow or deny anyone in your life and i don't know you guys are just really awesome and i feel like i can't like tell you guys enough how wonderful you are so if you don't believe that i hope you do and just know that you're really talented and that you're you are here for a reason and yeah i'm sorry i i, I feel so like bleh like i like like spirit wants to tell you guys something about that i think it's just, it's just related to your life in general this person feels really powerless when it comes to like what they can do with this connection i feel like they're waiting to either see you again or waiting for an opportunity where they feel like they have an in because this person is really afraid of rejection they do not have um they don't have very good self-esteem and truthfully if they've messed up in some way um they're really afraid of getting rejected and i think if you rejected them because of how highly they see you like that judgment i think it will make them really hate themselves so i think the only way they will make a move towards you is um if they feel like they're welcome in your energy again so it's really going to be subjective for you guys but i'm going to leave this reading here pile too i hope this was helpful this reading felt a little weird um not that you guys are weird but i just i felt weird during it so um yeah you guys are aside from this person you guys are, are um on your way to doing really great things so claps for that snaps for that you guys are awesome but i am going to leave this reading here pile two thank you guys so much for watching this all the way through if you did definitely let me know down in the comments how it resonates and i would also love to hear um you know anything <laughs> How's your day going? I, I forgot what I was saying, truthfully. Um, but definitely leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more readings like this. I am coming out with a video for those of you who are interested in learning how to read tarot in the next week. So definitely make sure you have hit that notification bell so you are alerted to when that comes out. But thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to read your cards and watching this all the way through if you did. That's impressive in of itself. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this, and I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye! Hi there, Pile 3! If you guys chose this big old Ruby Fooch site, I'm probably not saying that correctly. I love how thick this guy is. Uh, this is going to be your reading. So we're going to use the Whispering Spirits Tarot and these oracles to see how your person sees you now. Um, but before we do that, we are going to look at their first impressions and we're going to do that by um, using these oracles they've already shuffled and the Synesthesia Tarot deck, which is also a um, an indie deck. So this one is on Etsy as well. But okay, I'm going to start by just shuffling these and seeing... Spirit, what was Pile of Three's person's first impressions of Pile of Three? 
something called to take this one. So I'm taking that one immediately. Okay, we have the Hierophant Taurus energy. We also have the Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Magician. The Chariot. And on the back of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. So a lot of earth and fire energy, Taurus especially, but Capricorn and Virgo as well. Cancer energy with the Chariot and a little bit of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But um, for your oracles, we have Facade, Inside, Looking Out, the Black Egg, Visions, and Guilt. This is really interesting, Pile 3. Um, the biggest thing that I'm hearing right away is I heard bogged down by tradition. So for you guys, I think that this person immediately noticed that um, family is a big part of your life. Whether it's familial expectations or just family in general, that was a that's a big um, thing in your life. And I think that you might struggle. I don't even think this is your person's perception, but just a thing that I'm picking up on. Your you struggle because I do I, I get like black sheep energy from you like you probably feel like you don't fit in with your family or you probably feel like you don't fit in anywhere and I think that this person noticed this for a lot of you I think that you actually met this person online um certainly didn't have to I could almost see through family or through friends something like that um work with the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. But I, one thing that I want to be honest about, Pile 3, is that I think that you guys were not in a very good place when you met this person. I almost wonder if this person knew you were coming with this Visions card. But first of all, I think they thought you were very beautiful. Like, they had stars in their eyes. Like, you know that emoji with, like, the... Like, it's like the heart eyes emoji, but it's the star eyes emoji instead. I feel like that's kind of how they saw you. I think you were really magical with this magician here. And there was a way about you that was, like, intriguing and almost intoxicating. Um, with this black egg, this represents the throat chakra. And so I think that... You guys, like, you guys connected on something. You and this person connected through conversation and there, there was like this authenticity to what you were saying and this person was just really into it. I just feel this sense like you were feeling really trapped and lonely and I think this person was feeling that way too but they could tell that you are somebody very selfless and maybe struggle with the fact that you might have to conform to traditional customs or things that your family does that you don't want to conform to. Um, definitely a little bit stubborn with this higher than here, but with that Taurus energy, I definitely think that um, you're headstrong, but like in a good way. But I do have this energy where, you, where you, like, I feel this energy where you are like, everything is bullshit, everything sucks, like, You're not in the best place. And I think partially it's because you were doing things that you felt like you had to out of guilt or because you you have people pleasing tendencies. But I also think with the chariot here, maybe with that cancer energy, you are a very caring, very nurturing person. And you really just wanted to, um, you want to be there for people. And so that might make you feel tied down. I almost wonder if you are somebody um, who is just born into a more financially stable family. Um, and if you are, I feel like even though you were born into that, 
you just felt really lonely and like out of place. And I think that this person felt lonely and out of place as well. And I think that's something that drew the both of you to one another. But this person saw your power immediately. And I think that you felt stagnant and stuck because there was a lack of balance within you. And this person could kind of tell that. With this Knight of Wands here though, I think that there was passion on both ends. And I think that this person could tell that you just had a desire to break free. You had a desire to move forward in life, to follow your passions. And I like, I just feel like you're bogged down by tradition. And I think that you were in kind of a cynical phase because you were realizing a lot of the things that you had been doing or focusing on weren't, weren't panning out the way you thought they would. Or I think this person also saw that you didn't see yourself in the most accurate light and that you felt guilt and shame for things that were not your fault and that you didn't deserve to. Um, but they see you as very fierce and, and a force to be reckoned with. And truthfully, they, they wanted to keep you warm. And like, I don't, that could be literal, but I think like they could just tell that, that you hadn't gotten like, you're so nurturing for other people, but I feel like you don't get that nurturing energy from others. And I feel like you have a hard time connecting with people. So this person, I think they're kind of in the same energy and your authenticity was the most attractive thing in the world for them. And the way that you see the world and the way that your perspective was really intense and very magical for them. And they they love that. They, they see you as somebody very powerful and you definitely don't see that yourself, but they wish that you did. Um, and with this visions here, I wonder if this person like saw you before they um, really knew you, like maybe they had visions about you or something, but um, yeah, for whatever reason, it's like you were kind of trapped in your current circumstances and I feel like you guys bonded over, over that. And I almost wonder if your person was in very similar circumstances. But the interesting thing is that I feel like I'm getting context about your life that this person didn't know about, but for whatever reason, spirit wants me to give insight on. Um, because I, I do feel this like constriction, like this trapped feeling. Um, but in terms of first impressions, I feel like they could tell that you were sad and trying to keep a happy face and, and you know, just trying to put up that front. But I think this person saw through that they knew that you you weren't you weren't very happy and that things just were not coming up pile three at the at the moment when when they first met you and I think that made them really sad because they could see how special you were and that how much you deserve to like go after your desires and stuff so let's see how they view you now and what's going on now um all the piles have been so interesting today so honestly if you're drawn to more than one uh, I, I don't know, like they, they, they've all been really different and I felt so weird in all of them. Like, I don't know what's in the water today, but it, it's, it's been, um, quite odd, but we'll start by shuffling the tarot. So spirit, how does pile three's person currently see pile three? What is their current impression of pile three? now I love these cards but they're so big <laughs> okay we have the empress the high priestess the two of wands the king of swords and on the back of the deck we have the ten of cups but spirit wants me to take this one four of cups okay i'm sorry i'm gonna fix these I don't know what it is today, guys. Like, I just feel so weird. Like, in all the piles, I just feel weird. And not even, like, off. I just, I don't know. I've been fine, like, all day. But then as soon as I sat down to do this reading, like, I don't know. I just felt weird. But we have Instinct. The Hold, number 32. 
the hawk smother and confusion okay so this is really interesting I don't know if you walked away from this person I almost feel like you did um, maybe because you weren't interested in men or something like that or maybe this person maybe they walked away from you doesn't have to be that way but no matter what starting off with the empress you are creme de la creme you are gorgeous or very handsome you're very creative and they see you as like just one of the best people they've ever met and with this high priestess here why do i get this like i feel like there are secrets between you two that haven't come out and I think that that created a sense of um, neither party in this connection wanting to be vulnerable. With this two of wands, I feel like what's interesting, you guys like aren't on the same page here. And maybe you guys are at a distance and maybe you guys are like defensive. For whatever reason, this person is really sad about what's happened in this connection with the hold um, and smother. I feel like this connection um i don't know if you like this could have been a breakup or emotionally confusing stuff that has nothing to do with this connection but affect this person or affect you and in turn affected this connection but with the ten of cups here i feel like this person still fantasizes about having like a happily ever after with you and they see you as like very emotionally fulfilling and at the very least like they see you as deserving of emotional fulfillment but with this king of swords i feel like there's been a refusal on your end to let this person in and with this hawk i feel like that makes even more sense because a hawk is an air sign so you could have air placements um I just I feel like something happened here like I almost wonder if you cut this person off and because I'm reading from their perspective that might be why I'm so confused you might be like I cut them off because they did xyz and I'm like valid do what you want um but you maybe if you ghosted this person or like didn't communicate with this person like that's kind of why they're confused or maybe they're just not really good at um self-reflection I feel like there are secrets on both ends this person feels connected to you psychically um, and like they're really sad with this mother like I feel like their feelings about this connection they can't escape and they're very confused and also with instinct here I feel like they're struggling between their logical mind and, and their and their heart um, because I think you both protect your hearts and I almost wonder if this person, they're trying to see clearly about this connection because they, they're not looking at it clearly right now. Um, they're kind of like emotionally distraught. And with this King of Swords here, I wonder if the person you're asking about has water placements or is like, more emotional and you're more like log logical <laughs> logical and rational but even if you're not typically logical and rational the way you communicated to this person um really helped them see more clearly and like you almost like were able to cut through like their bullshit like and i don't mean like bad bullshit but you know how like you can get in your own head and you can be really worried about stuff um this person really felt like the way you could speak to them and the way you could talk to them, which clearly your voice has a lot of power since you were first being represented by that black egg, you really do have a way with words and communicating. You really know how to get through to this person and you really know how to clear through their confusion. And I feel like they're really dissatisfied with where this connection is right now, but they're not really making any moves because they're really confused. I feel like they don't know what to do here. 
Um, they're trying to see clearly before they do something, but they're like keeping their eye on you. And even if this connection is at a distance, I feel like they just fantasize about you a lot and they see you as somebody really amazing and very intuitive. And I think it kind of freaks them out how intuitive you are sometimes, which is interesting because I think that you really hold yourself back. Like this isn't, this isn't your person talking, this is spirit talking. You, pile three, probably hold your intuitive downloads back because you are too rational about thinking about what they actually mean. So it would benefit you to kind of trust what your gut says more. This person, I think, feels confused because their gut feels pulled to you. But I feel like for whatever reason, this connection just like isn't working right now. And they're really sad about it. And it, it's kind of overwhelming. And they're trying to see the bigger picture, but they're struggling because they are kind of emotional right now, truthfully. And I feel like they just want everything to be sunshine and rainbows and they don't know how. And at the very least, they have a very high opinion of you. Um, but I almost feel like they're a bit dependent on you in a way. Like they... And, and maybe that's why you distanced yourself because you felt like you couldn't always just be there for them and maybe they got comfortable with that. I don't know. Like I said, all of these piles have been so weird today and I'm just like, I don't know. I've never felt this while reading a pick a card before and I've literally done this reading before. So I don't know if there's just something, I don't know, what's today, January 15th. So I don't know if there's just something in the water when I'm filming this, but it's just interesting energies, I guess. Um, but let's see what this person would say to you if they could, Pile 3. Um, so Spirit, what would Pile 3's person say to Pile 3 if they could be completely honest? I made a mistake. So yeah, maybe they kept secrets from you. Can we start over? Yeah, I feel like this person misses you a lot with that hold. Like, they're just really sad. I recognize this connection from a past life. I think you're the one, like they definitely see that 10 of cups with you. There's things I'm not ready to tell you. So yeah, maybe with that secrets. I stalk your social media, I absolutely believe that. I have too much on my plate right now. Please don't forget about me. And your intelligence intimidates me. A lot of these messages came out in um, pile one, even though the energy like feels different, but honestly, I don't even know if I can remember what I just said in pile one. But on the back of the deck, we have your soul is so beautiful and I want you back. And that, I honestly, I feel like this person does. Um, and I hope our paths cross again someday. So yeah, they they um, cannot escape this connection despite the fact that it's um, probably not happening right now. The interesting thing though, Pile One, is I don't even know if I described you correctly. Like I feel like I mixed your guys' energies a lot. Um, because I was just like unsure of what was you and what was them. So uh, if you like, if things, because it's a general reading, like one, sorry if um, it got too super confusing. I'm pulling you guys advice right now, by the way. But um, feel free if like you're like, oh, if I say things and you're like, no, nah, that sounds like them. But what you were talking about then sounds like me, you know, you can, you can switch it and however you want to slice it or dice it, you know. Make it work for you, I guess. You know, Tim Gunn, make it work, designers. Anyway, um, let's see, Spirit, what advice do you have for Pile 3 when it comes to this connection? What do you want them to know? Okay. So to start, we have wholeness. I am complete, whole, and filled with love. I have everything I need. If I ask or look for more, I'm ignoring the love and gifts that are already in my life. Instead, I'll be grateful and acknowledge that anything else would be extra icing on life's cake. FYI, whoever is listening, extra icing is totally welcome as it, as it is obviously the most delicious part. I personally can test that. I don't know. I'm not a big icing person, but you know, to each their own. And on the back of the deck, we have sensuality. Embracing sensuality doesn't necessarily mean you're a middle-aged swinger. It simply means that you're savoring one of the coolest aspects of being alive, the sensory input. It's time to get decadent. Reward yourself with gifts for the senses. You could drop a wad of cash on champagne and chocolate, or you could tune in and enjoy the incredible gifts around you. The taste of an orange, the sounds of the forest, the texture of corduroy. 
I don't know your life. The point is, it's time to savor whatever your senses can grab hold of, even if that means you're being sensual. Gross. Which, I mean, like, mood. I'm like that all the time. I'm like, ew, affection? It's disgusting. Get it, get it away from me. <laughs> okay, let's see what else Spirit wants you to know. Okay, Spirit, what advice do you have for Pile 3 when it comes to their connection? Okay. We have your commitment is being tested, first quarter moon. And on the back of the deck, we have adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So yeah, I feel like you're you're in a weird place right now. And I wish I could give you like more advice, but I feel like the, the, the vagueness of this is due to um, the fact that your situations are so different. Um, and by yours, I just mean like the different people that pick this pile because um, the semantics are going to be different. But let's get some angel numbers for you guys. That might be more helpful. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. Okay. So to start, we have number 31. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. I am disciplined. We also have 30. <laughs> You are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. What I say, I did say that. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I am imaginative. And on the back of the deck, we have number 14. You are open-minded and always up to something new, yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure that your time and attention and efforts are meaningful. I am practical. So pile three, um, 30, 31, 14, which that'll be three, four, and five um, is what they reduced to. I feel like you guys are in an interesting spot right now. And I think this person is too. And honestly, what I would just tell you guys is, um, really try to get in touch with your spirit, spiritual team and try meditating. Um, I feel like you guys are going through a rough time right now and I hope you're not, but if you are, I just want you to know that like, be nice to yourself. You're doing the best that you can and things will get better. Um, don't be afraid to reach out for help and, and if that includes professional help, please don't be afraid to do that. Um, you deserve and are worthy of love and affection and beautiful things. And I'm sorry if the people in your life haven't shown you that, but I hope you know that you are very deserving of that. And um, the hawk is also a message of divinity. I think things are gonna be changing for you soon. And I think in a more positive way, but I think that your attitude might be something that you need to adjust or like the people that you allow to surround you is something that you might need to adjust. But you know that better than I do. If, you, if you're happy with everybody in your life, then like, don't just cut somebody off because a tarot reading on YouTube told you that. Like, that's, that's not, that's not. Listen to yourself first and foremost, I guess is what I'm just saying. But uh, I'm gonna leave your reading here, pile three. Really sorry um, if this wasn't the clearest uh, reading. It, w it was interesting. All Like I said, all the piles today have been really interesting. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know down in the comments if it resonates at all. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. Definitely leave me a like and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more readings like this in the future. Um, I am going to be uploading a video soon for you guys who are learning how to read tarot. So I'm really excited for that. It should be up next week. So if you haven't already, turn on the notification bell so that you can get that sooner if you're interested. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for letting me read your cards. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching, and I hope you'll come back and visit me again soon. Bye. Hi there, Pile 4. If you guys chose the pretty, pretty Labradorite stone and the Apparition Tarot, this is going to be your reading. We are going to use the Apparition Tarot and these oracles to look at how your person sees you now, but we are going to use these oracles and the Synesthesia Tarot to look at your person's first impressions of you. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, if you felt drawn to more than one pile, my answer for you is I don't know because <laughs> the readings today have been quite interesting and different and yeah, I, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see what you guys think of it but it is it was definitely an interesting energy so I'm am have no expectations for this this pile I'm sure it's just gonna be another interesting energy but let's go ahead and start okay damn all right these are meant for you guys 
Okay. So how this person, their first impressions of you, um, interesting. Okay. And then back of the deck, strength. I feel like I got a lot of Leos here. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm going to take the magician as well. I think that's meant for you. Okay. So you, I literally, I said in the first pile, like they got six cards. I'm like, you're the only pile that's going to get like six cards. So you better feel special. And I'm like, I'm literally a total liar. <laughs> like every pile has gotten like an absurd amount of cards. It's so funny. Okay. So in terms of your oracles, we have release in reverse. Number 56, body. We have the elephant. So definitely more fire here. Afraid of the attic and soulmate in reverse as well. So this person's first impressions of you was very interesting. I would not be shocked if a lot of masculines picked this pile. Um, obviously you don't have to be, but I, I definitely get a heavy like masculine energy from you, even no matter what you identify as. But this person's first impressions of you, so, This person is also pretty intuitive. So I want to just say right off the bat, one thing that I'm getting is that both parties in this connection, um, very spiritual and like connected, which would make sense. You guys chose like Labradorite, things like that. So this person's first impression of you is very interesting because they picked up on a lot about you. Um... But what I want to say right off the bat, if they have feelings for you, like the night that they met you. And I think that one thing that really blew them away was you just seemed very like in control and confident in yourself. I almost wonder if you have like a, a, a commanding voice or just like a commanding presence, you know, with that Leo energy. This person saw you as somebody strong and they definitely liked your body. Um, I don't know if you're like big in stature or you just like well proportioned. They were they were definitely attracted to you in that way. And they saw you as somebody that was in control but also not. Like they saw that the power you wielded, but at the same time they could tell that you were a bit uncertain of yourself and that there was a lot going on underneath the surface that you weren't talking about, which probably makes sense because I mean, if you guys were, let's say on a date or like you met out or you met in some random place, like it's not like you just unload your baggage on somebody. You're not just like, hello, here's my trauma. Like, but they could tell there were things going on, like especially in your head, like you definitely seemed a bit anxious and there's just like emotional things in you that you hadn't really released but I also think that you made this person really nervous with this eight of swords here I feel like this person was in this really big like self-sufficient energy and when you came around they felt like they were like they weren't sure if they were ready for something like that but it's almost like they knew intuitively like they weren't completely letting you in because they almost knew that you were somebody really substantial to them. Um, or you would be somebody like you weren't yet, but it's like, they didn't know, but they knew like there's something substantial about this connection for some reason. And there's something substantial about this person. And for whatever reason, I feel like this person after you guys met or had this first encounter, they like couldn't stop thinking about you. And Maybe if you were flirtatious with this person, they really like enjoyed, um, like you could have been pursuing this person. Like, but I could just see like a lion, like you were like that lion. Like maybe you really saw this person as a person of interest and you were like, were very interested in them or something. Um, so if that was the case, they, you definitely made them feel very attractive. Like they, they, they felt better about themselves, I guess. Um, But they also, like, they just saw a lot of power in you. And, and, and they, but they, 
They like knew there was more to it. They knew that there was something going on underneath the surface. They could tell that you were somebody really intelligent and you had been through a lot, but like they, they, things were more surface level. They were afraid of getting into that, so to speak. Um, and maybe they were kind of in denial of this connection. With the Magician here, the Magician is a high level soulmate card. And I think that the spiritual nature of this connection was kind of apparent to the both of you right away, but I think that maybe neither of you really wanted to acknowledge it. Um, with the elephant here, like this is a really evolved fire sign. So like, I feel like this person could tell that you were passionate about them or that you had a lot of passion in general. If you didn't express like um, romantic interest, and I think that this person just had feelings for you right away. And um, I think this person saw you as somebody just very physically attractive and almost kind of like a wish come true physically, like, like, like you're their ideal type, but also they could see a lot with you and, and they were really focused on their own happiness. And when you came into their life, like, I feel like you came into their life at a time where they weren't expecting you. And I almost wonder if vice versa. I wonder if it's the same way on both ends because once again, I'm getting this energy. I guess this is the interesting conundrum I've been this whole reading. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll spell the T for you guys, pile four. It's like I, I've been having a hard time discerning at certain points what is you and what is them. And the more that I've just noticed through my readings, like I think that I am just attracting a lot of viewers and like these intense spiritual connections. And so because of that, a lot of the energies are either mirrored or like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they're just so complex and, and intricate that, that I can't do them justice. But this person, they were almost kind of refusing to look at you all the way. Like they kind of had a wall up from you because they could tell that if they open themselves up, you could like have their heart in a second. And so I think that they were kind of um, conflicted because they like wanted to let you in, but then they also like knew that there was something going on in your head, like you were dealing with stuff and they were like, well, I'm kind of dealing with stuff and this person's kind of dealing with stuff. And like, I don't know if I want to open things up, but like now I find myself talking really fast like this. And I noticed that when I talk really fast like this, that usually means because uh, like there's anxiety going on. So um, I definitely think that both of you were in your heads about this and overthinking it. Like you, I feel like you guys couldn't just relax and have fun. This is kind of like the vibe that I'm getting. This person could tell that you'd been through a lot and that, that, that you were probably struggling with things that you are not um, completely honest about. But I feel like this person was just saw you as somebody really creative. You might be like a creative person in general or like an entrepreneur or something like that. This person really liked the personal power that you wielded and you just really seemed like a very powerful person and they, they were really drawn to that. And I think that they, the strength of this connection is actually something that needs to be talked about because I think there've been a lot of obstacles here. Like I almost wonder if like even when you guys just like first met it felt like there was just this energetic barrier like you knew that there was something more there and you wanted to, to get to it but but there was like some energetic barrier that was stopping you and I think this person from getting to the place where you wanted to be whatever that was like if that was taking the conversation to a certain place or um I don't know what it was. It's just really interesting. And if anything, this person really saw you as like, like an ideal person, an ideal partner. Um, very, very attractive. Uh, they could have liked your hair a lot. <laughs> um, that's like a specific feature. Um, yeah, you're magnetic pile four. This person like feels magnetically drawn to you and, um, they had feelings for you right away, but I think that they were kind of shunning them and they were not open to, um, first they were unable to release the things that in their personal life that they were kind of dealing with, but also they were unable to look at this connection objectively or like be open to the strength of this connection because I think that this person was also dealing with stuff and yeah. Let's get into your current energies because I think that is going to be interesting and quite telling um i don't know if ganesh has any significance to you but um i do believe that ganesh is represented by the elephant so 
um, if that is a significant deity in your life, is something I'm getting as well. Um, so let's get your oracles. So now we are going to see how this person currently views you, which I think will be really interesting because all of them have been so far, and I just like I just have no idea what to expect anymore. Like this, this has been the like the readings today have just been like not even lackluster, but like chill but insane. If that makes sense, lots of paradoxes, I guess. But okay, spirit, what does? How does Pile 4's person currently view Pile 4? What are their current impressions of Pile 4? What do they think? Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. The Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. The Hermit. Knight of Cups, the Six of Cups, and on the back of the deck we have the Queen of Cups, death underneath that. Very, very interesting. Okay, let me move these down a little bit. This person definitely still has feelings for you. Um, So let's look at your oracles because your oracles make this even more interesting. So we have gratitude. We have in between worlds, number 55. We have a cosmic egg. This guy has been popping out a lot. We have dream travel, number 52, and we have growth. So I definitely do not think that you are in a connection with this person right now. And if you are talking, it is... Um, probably very sporadically and not um, significant. But this person has feelings on feelings for you. Like it's kind of insane. Actually so much so that it's overbearing. And, and they've gotten to this point where they, they've tried to surrender how they feel about you because for whatever reason, um, it's like out of their hands right now. The connection's out of their hands for whatever reason. Um, Maybe you guys are in different physical locations, something like that. We have Virgo energy with the Hermit, Pisces with the Hanged Man, uh, lots of water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like this person wishes they could tell you how they feel. They're like kind of hoping to be reunited with you in some way. And the Six of Cups is another soulmate card. And here's what's interesting. This person... First of all, I think you guys are like hanging out in the astral all the time. Like I'm sure you guys are, um, you guys have dreams about one another, telepathically connected. I mean, this is really highly spiritual. This cosmic egg, um, this represents the crown chakra. And I definitely think that this is like textbook spiritual connection where you meet somebody and you both have lessons to teach one another and, and you're just very in sync. Yeah, like the... Amethyst got amethyst angels shaking. She's like, yeah, just crazy. Um, and I feel like the psychic connection here is almost unparalleled. And with the Queen of Cups being on the back of the deck, I feel like um, this person is like really in their feels about you. And I think that they honestly might fantasize about like confessing things to you or um, They have like really lovey-dovey thoughts about you. I guess that's like all I can say. And their thoughts so and feelings, so they might not be really open with that. But you definitely still have a place in this person's heart. And with gratitude here and growth, um, they are like, no matter what has transpired in this connection, your person is grateful to have known you because they have grown a lot from it, but also they've kind of been like watching you. I feel like you guys have been watching each other from afar. Like it's like one of those things where you like, you know, if you're like, you like watch each other's stories or like something like that, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like you both have grown and this person knows that you've been growing and that you've been changing. 
probably because they check in on you too. Maybe they, maybe they watch tarot readings or something. Um, but I think they're understanding like why they met you and why they, and the significance of this connection. And it's honestly kind of overbearing at times. And I feel like it is hard for them sometimes, but I think the intensity of the connection has forced them to surrender it. And they're, they're kind of just like leaving it up to the universe. I definitely don't think that they're like interested in anyone else. Um, and if they are, it's probably not serious. Um, but even then, I feel like this person is just, is just like kind of isolated. And with the hermit, I feel like you guys really aren't communicating like literally like you're like totally not communicating. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying like so much. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. I know that gets annoying. I don't mean to. Um, but this person, despite the fact that they're withdrawn from you, they think about you all the time, like probably more than they'd like to. And I think it gets extra frustrating because they see you in their dreams all the time. I mean, the cosmic egg and dream travel, like you guys are always vibing in the dream world. I'm sure you guys see each other all the time. Like this is probably a regular thing. And I think that the way they felt about you, like you've really opened up a lot in their heart. And I feel like they, they feel close to you. Like they feel close to you and far away from you at the same time. Like they don't know how to get to you. It's so weird. Um, and with this Knight of Cups energy, like I feel like they fantasize about, you know, like a fresh start or like things just, just coming out, coming out Millhouse if you watch The Simpsons. Um, I'm sorry I paused. I kind of lost my train of thought and I was trying to hear everything. Rainbows could be significant to this connection. I'm even hearing like the song somewhere over the rainbow. Um, even in their isolation, they like, they almost feel closer to you. Like, I feel like this person likes sleeping because they're always like hoping that they'll see you on the astral or like get to interact with you for a little bit. But I feel pride for you. Like it, they think that you've grown a lot and they're really grateful to have known you. No matter what transpired between the both of you, this person has learned a lot from it. And I think that they've seen your growth and I'm just hearing like they wish they could touch you, which like I'm not like, I don't mean to say that like a creepy way. Like I feel like they just miss being around you physically. Like they wish they could like hug you and stuff. Um, Cause they do just have this sweet energy for you. Like they, they have this kind of pretty pure love for you. That's kind of hard to explain because shit definitely could have gone down within this connection. Um, maybe they contributed it to it. Maybe you did, maybe you both did, but I feel like they hoped that over time their feelings for you would dissipate. But I think that it's just made their heart grow more like, That might be hard for them, especially if they have like a Virgo moon or they're like, they have any Virgo, like they, they might be very, um, not like the lovey dovey type. So this kind of almost feels like uh, weird for them. And I feel like sometimes they fear that their feelings for you are not anchored in reality. Um, and like that they might just be a crazy person. They could be, you might not have any feelings for this person. I mean, who knows, but they definitely, um, their feelings for you have not gone anywhere and um, they think very highly of you and they think they miss you and they and they hope that you're, you're good and they hope that you're like, they hope they'll see you again, that's for sure. That's the energy that I'm getting. Um, and I remember you have free will, energy is always changing and yada, yada, yada. Um, all that all that jazz okay so spirit what would pile four's person say to pile four if they could be completely honest what would they say yeah there we go baby i'm trusting divine timing hell yeah this person is 
I would do anything for you. I really think they would. Like, they're really grateful for you. And with that Six of Cups, I just get that sweet, like, like, this person could be the toughest person ever and, like, not give a shit about anyone. But, like, when it comes to you, I feel like they would just be like, oh, pile four. Like, yeah, like, they would do it for you. There we go, baby. What, what? What were they denying originally? <laughs> like they see you as a soulmate and I think that they just know that things will things will come around eventually and I think that they're hoping for that. I'm such an idiot and I miss the good times we shared. So yeah, they definitely could have done things that they're not proud of um, and they might just feel stupid. Um, they, de they definitely miss you a lot, like a lot, a lot. Okay, well, I, I guess we're gonna roll with those. Um, we also have, I promise I have changed. I'm afraid of losing myself. Yeah, I think this person really values their independence. Um, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, if they've seen your growth from afar, they're like really, they're just, they're rooting for you. Have you moved on? I feel like they're hoping you haven't because I don't think this person has in the slightest. I'm not ready for change. So I definitely think there could still be fears here, which is maybe why they're not making moves or maybe, you know, just just panoramic, Panasonic stuff. I like saying anything but pandemic at this point. And I bury myself in my work. So yeah, I think this person is just like using their job as, as an escape and as an outlet. And on the back of the deck, we have, I never expected to feel this way and you're too good for me. So I think that makes sense. Like with that soulmate in reverse, like they weren't really maybe open to the to the nature of this connection at first, but now I think they're, <laughs> they're thoroughly shook it <laughs> by it. Um, but now pile, Four. I'm gonna get you guys some advice for this connection. We will see what this person wants you to know. Okay, so Spirit, how does Pile Four is? How does the, the, the What advice do you have for Pile Four? I have been just like talking out of my ass today. It's ridiculous. Okay, so we have boundaries. I claim my right to set healthy boundaries and I allow others to do the same. Sometimes personal space, pers see, personal space. What's personal space? It doesn't exist. Personal space is taken and sometimes it's given. And sometimes if you're on the subway, it's completely disregarded and shamelessly invaded. I guess it depends on the day. And we have pleasure. I give myself permission to feel pleasure and I let that pleasure rush into my life in a decadent display of over-the-top abundance. Then I realize that pleasure has been waiting at my door for a long time. It's just that pleasure doesn't knock on doors because loud noises aren't super pleasant. And on the back of the deck, we have my best self. I trust that when I'm doing what's best for me and being the happiest version of myself, the right sorts of relationships will appear in my life. That means I can let go of all the worries about the future, knowing that my only job is to be happy in this moment while simultaneously attaining a cosmic level of enlightened awareness and total psychological self-actualization. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see what else Spirit wants you to know about this connection. Use the Numology cards now. I think that's an ant eater. That's kind of dope. I like that. Uh, okay, Spirit, what advice do you have uh, for pile four when it comes to this connection? What do you want them to know? Okay, I'm gonna cut this actually. So, I feel like... so we have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. We also have don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. Yeah, I knew there were Leos in this pile. We also have meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. <laughs> Look at that. Of course I cut the deck because confidence is your key to success, new moon in Leo. And underneath that, a new romantic cycle begins. So I definitely think Spirit is saying that you need to be confident in yourself because um, this person definitely like is not over <laughs> you. Um, and if you are like hoping for another chance, I really think that that could happen. But at the end of the day, that's up to you. Um, you know, new moons are all about manifesting and I definitely think you have the power to manifest this back or like manifest something with this. But full moons are about release. So I think you need to release your pride or any prideful energy about like letting your walls down because I think that this person wants to let their walls down, but they might be afraid to because they don't want to be the only one being vulnerable and so maybe that's why they haven't so i think spirit's just asking you to like you know approach this situation with love and compassion and 
you know, don't make any hasty decisions. Do what feels right. At the end of the day, go with your gut and, and just trust that whatever is happening is meant for you. So finally, we're going to get you some angel numbers now and see what synchronicities are relevant to this connection. So Spirit, what advice do you have for Pile 4? What do you want them to know? Who we'll called the poll more? Okay. So we have master number 33. Any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be well worth your while. Expect that your power expect your power to manifest and create. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. I am expanding. So see, talk about manifesting, fellas, girlies, pals. Number 55, we have substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change and need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. Confidence is your key to success. <laughs> Told you. Oh my gosh, and we have 99. So it is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I am courageous like a lion. And on the back of the deck, we have 26. You have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. I am tactful. So that is a really interesting pile four. Um, I definitely think that this is um, a really heavy and intense connection. So uh, if you feel crazy, I just want you to know that you're not crazy. Um, and I know that's probably not the most comforting thing in the world coming from a tarot reader on YouTube, but um, I can just say like from experience and, and reading for a lot of people that these things defy logic, honestly. And when you rely on logic for connections like this, it doesn't really end up very well. The best thing that you can do is really trust your intuition. And also, even if you don't want to make moves towards this person or do anything, if you're really struggling with the idea of like the, you still have feelings for them and feel like you shouldn't, um, it's not like you have to tell anyone about it, but it can be kind of freeing to just be like, you know, fuck it. Like I do have feelings for this person, whatever. I don't even know if anything will happen. I don't know if things will change, but at the end of the day, like if it is causing you literal stress to, to try and deny this, it might help you to surrender to just be like, yeah, okay, I do. That doesn't mean anything needs to happen or I have to put myself out there. Or I have to do something about it, but at least like not denying what what your what your emotions are telling you can be kind of freeing sometimes that doesn't mean anyone else has to know you could tell your journal or something but like yeah I, I mean these are things like that are probably kind of hard to talk about with friends and stuff because if they haven't gone through it themselves they probably can't understand it but uh, I just want you to know you're not crazy and uh, be nice to yourself because you are doing better than you think you are. I like spirits telling me that you're right where you need to be and everything is going to work out for the highest good of all. So just trust in that and you're great. I believe in you and yeah. <laughs> okay, pile four. I'm going to leave this reading here. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. If you did, definitely let me know down in the comments how it resonates. I would love to hear. Um, leave me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this reading and would like to see more from me. Uh, I also, I have a new video coming for those of you who are interested in learning tarot. So make sure you hit the notification bell if you're interested in seeing that. It should be up next week. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for letting me read your cards. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye!